Hello family and friends. Uh, today we're going to be removing an, an ornamental kale <laughs> and putting in some diplodinias and red quarter line. We used to use the, uh, the other red quarter line which is a uh, sensation but we'll be putting in these red and white diplodinias. The purple kale <laughs> got extremely tall. Uh, we haven't been here in a while, obviously, and uh, although it's nice and it's beautiful, nice bold ruffled leaves, it's very beautiful, but uh, has to come out <laughs> a little too big for the pot. It's uh, out of proportion, and it's seeding, and we're going to go with something else. Okay, we got the big uh, ornamental kale out and put in the red streamline, the red quarter line. That's that little pink, pink reddish streaks along the edge of the leaves. And have the red and white uh, diplodenia in here. We took the ivy apart. We had to pull that out to make room for the for the plants and space those out all the way around. And this is another one of our pots for the spring and summer. The different leaf textures add a lot of spring and summer interest uh, to this pot. We have one side not very much ivy at all on it which which leaves it it open to, to see the to see the pot and these pinkish red lines on the leaves they really pick up this red and white of the flowers I had the dark green leaves which are really glossy glossy leaves and we have the, the lighter green uh, ivy. We have the English ivy here, which is a very small plant. This will get four to six feet long. And more variegated ivy on this side. So as the quarter line moves in the wind, the red and white really complement this house, the pot, and the other plants that are in here. We have the height, we have the quarter line for height, the diplodinias for the filler, and the ivy for the spiller. Janice put the different plants in, and now she's just filling in the the gaps of soil and we want to make sure that this is is filled in so that we don't have any uh, air pockets which will uh, create you now standing water uh, will cause a uh, root rot so as she goes around and puts the dirt in puts the soil in uh, she will make sure that everything is filled in and ready to go all of these plants are full sun and this is really a conversation piece. And another one of our spring and summer planters. This is late spring going into summer and this will last all the way until we get a heavy frost. finally able to get this leaf in focus. You see the many lines going through it and around the edges we have a pinkish 
red color. And that will be the height that we're using in this in this planter. Just one last look at our summer planter. Spring and summer, what I probably listed under summer. Enjoy your day.